definitions for fully vaccinated will evolve with time and may include booster doses as well. So basically you're saying we're not there yet. Yeah. I mean, is that, that, when will we know what the actual definition is? Wow. So I think what happens is the, the CDC will review the data that are available regarding vaccine effectiveness, um, how, how well the booster doses are working, those yep, kinds of things are really like. as we make decisions for that, but also keeping in mind what is the predominant strain and how effective is the vaccine against that predominant strain. Why do they got the windows covered in that dark blue? Those kinds of things define what the actual oh, yeah. uh, fully vaccinated dose means. You better go that way. So Dr. Walensky uh, says that Omicron uh, is about 3% of the cases that are sequenced in this country higher in New York and uh, New Jersey, uh, interestingly. But Omicron's dominant in uh, South Africa, could be dominant in the next 24 hours or so in the UK. Different vaccine picture, different vaccines in use, but do you expect that it will be dominant here soon? So the speed at which the vaccine is doubling is really remarkable, and so what we're seeing play out in South Africa and the UK is dramatic. Uh, I think it's likely that this fact this virus, the Omicron virus variant, will actually spread rapidly through the United States. Uh, and oh, the air bag went off. I'm not sure that yeah. it's exactly the same experience as they're having in South Africa or they have in the UK, but we'll definitely have to keep our eyes on it and watch it closely. In the meantime, the things that are in place right now in the United States are helpful in buying us some time until we understand more about the variant. So making sure that we're identifying people who have disease, making sure that we're isolating them, identifying their contacts and quarantining the contacts, all those kinds of things can help limit the spread of the virus while we're, up to, while we're understanding more about it. There is some more seeming good news uh, today, and that is that Pfizer says that its pill, its COVID pill, cuts the risk of hospitalization and death by 89% if given to high-risk adults within a few days of their first symptoms. Is that a game changer? It's such a wonderful tool to have in our toolbox. When I think about influenza virus, we have Tamiflu and other antiviral agents.